Okay, well, I've been working some more with the, the Daftman um, circuit that uses an inductor rather than a toroid coil, and I made it into a charger by adding this point here in it, and it's been working, and it worked quite well, and I'm real interested in it, so I, I kind of boxed it up here and made it um, better with a variable um, um, potentiometer, it's actually a 25 ohm um, rheostat on the source battery, whichever one this is. Then I added a flip-flop switch to flip the, the batteries back and forth without having to change the batteries out. And uh, with this um, rheostat here, I can make the brightness brighter or dimmer depending on where I, I want the draw to be. It runs anywhere from 10 milliamps up to about 50 milliamps. And somewhere right about the middle is where you get the charging from one side to the other that balances out pretty good. Now the other thing I worked on here was, this is a pain um, using a multimeter to check these battery voltage to see what's going on. So I wanted an, a better way to look at it rather than have to test it that way. So I went online looking for this. This is a little digital um, mini battery voltage display. And they use them in uh, radio-controlled airplanes. But the problem is I, I didn't do my homework well enough, and I bought the wrong one. But every once in a while you make a mistake, and you come up with something that's better. And this is what I bought. I bought a battery pack tester. It wasn't very expensive. It was 5 bucks or whatever. And the tester samples battery cells in a lithium-ion battery pack for a radio-controlled airplane or something like that. And it scans the battery pack and tells you what each cell is like and tells you what the voltage is on the whole pack. Now, there it is running right there. And this is a little chip. Like I say, the camera's making this blink. Now, that's really interesting. But, uh, yeah, this scans the... Uh, battery pack if you had one and tells you what the voltage is on all the batteries and what it's doing right now is it's scanning these two batteries right here and then it's telling me what the whole amount is with all the batteries now what's not showing in this picture here is this and that's uh, a 7.25 or so lithium ion battery that's in that solar a charger for a cell phone that's being uh, pumped in with the sunlight coming out of that skylight right there that's driving this whole thing and when this goes through its scan it will actually pick up all of the uh, energy coming into this including what's over there so as it goes through this it's actually got a shot of energy going into this now I'm going to turn this off here and show you what the resting voltage is on this. You'll see this go through a scan here, and it's 6.26 right now, and that's what this is supplying, and that's feeding energy into that little chip there. And then when I turn on the system here, I've got that energy in a pulse coming into the the little uh, charging circuit. So anyway, during the day when the sun's on, I found out I can just leave that hooked up and this just recharges the whole system and then I can see what's going on with it. And depending on which way I flip the switch, I can see what the batteries are looking like on either side of the circuit. And then if I uh, uh, disconnect that, it doesn't run at all because it takes 7 volts to run that system right there. And that's where... Um, you really need this thing over here to be able to tell um, what's going on without the 7 volt power supply but that thing has to have power to make it run otherwise it doesn't run now it's interesting when this is loaded up you'll see this is it's, it's at 4 or 4 something yeah 4.89 now that's under load and that's another thing that I found interesting is when you unload it I'll turn this back off again the unloaded uh, power on this is 6.24 from that battery pack right there so it'll run with less than 7 volts but anyway I found this very very interesting uh, there's nothing in this box except uh, let's see if I can show that in there just the switch with the wires there's no batteries in there at all but I've had a lot of fun with this Daftman circuit because it's using 
that. That's an inductor, which is a, a wire. It's a winding of wire in there. And instead of having a toroid coil, this is just a winding of wire. And yet I'm still getting the, the collapsing field basic charging that happens in a Bedini or the Julti circuits. But anyway, I thought I would share this with guys that uh, sometimes you make a mistake and it comes out good. And that little battery analyzer I find fascinating to watch as the energy comes in out of that goes through that little thing right there and feeds that device right there. Great fun today.